What is up, Lojo Fishing fam? I am back at it again today at Academy with the main man, Pierce, dabbing on all the haters. The haters told him he couldn't dab, he's dabbing on them anyway. Guys, if I've got Pierce with me, you already know what's going on. We're gonna be doing some type of fishing challenge. So in the last challenge, what we did, I brought Pierce to Academy. I let him choose three lures, three fishing lures, anything he wanted, and it was my job to go out and fish with them and catch three fish, which we did. Today we're back for part two, except we're gonna have to change it up just a little bit. If you are new to my channel or new to these challenges that I do, I'm gonna put a little thing up here so you can click on the first episode and actually go check it out. Also, if you're new, subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell. The button's gonna be right down here. That way you stay up to date with my channel as it's growing very rapidly. And a big thank you for you guys for that. So the difference in today's video, Pierce is still gonna have to choose me three lures and I'm not gonna give him any restrictions on what kind of lures he chooses. The only thing is, Pierce, today you're gonna have a $10 budget. Now that's gonna make it a lot more difficult because a lot of these lures are more than three or four dollars. So we're gonna have to make that work. You think you can handle that, Pierce? Yeah, I'm gonna choose like you a two or one dollar bill. Okay, well whatever, man. We're gonna have to do the math, which is probably gonna be the funnest part because me and Pierce are operating on about the same math level here, so. Guys, I'm looking around here and you know, you don't really see a whole lot of like three dollar, two dollar lures. So I, I, no, well there's like zero one dollar lures. I haven't seen any yet. Yeah, like stuff like this, we, we can't do that. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to get very creative here, Pierce. We don't want any booty shakers up in here. This is a family friendly challenge. <laughs> I am seeing a few like two ninety nine, like in two nineteen dollar lures. So the, we do have some options in here. Are you seeing anything, Pierce, that's catching your eye? Yeah, I one of those. Okay, what do we got here? Let's see. Pull that out for us so we can see it. It is a Zoom Fat Albert <laughs> Margarita color. Oh my God! Look at this thing. But hey, it's two ninety nine, so we're we're perfectly in in our budget for the first lure. This is it looks like a little like a little chub or something. I'm not even sure what this is. So very good selection. Pierce wants to make this very difficult on me, and that's why I love him. So this is our first lure. All right. So I like what we're I like where we're going here. This is going to be very interesting. All right, so we switched aisles since we already have a soft plastic lure. We're kind of looking around at some of the other stuff. And let me tell you something about these wire baits, spinner baits, buzz baits, chatter baits. They're expensive. Some of these are like six, seven dollars. I mean, goodness gracious. Just for a bait. Just for one lure. Come on, guys. Come on, lure companies, help us out here. Now this whole little section right here of all these different kinds of wire baits is like, like a one dollar. Yeah, some of them are one dollar, two dollars. Mm. So. I don't know, that might be our only option. Okay, so you, what do we got over here? Oh my God, look at that thing. $2.99, I, I can honestly say I've never used that color on a spinnerbait. <laughs> Good Lord, look how like fluorescent orange that thing is. But it is a spinnerbait, so okay, it's a very good choice. All right, so we've got $2.99, and what was this one? Was this one $2.99 or $3.99? We went back and checked the price on this bad boy, so both of our first two lures have been $2.99. We're not gonna factor in tax and all that stuff because, I mean, come on, that's just a waste of time. So basically, we've got $6 worth of lures here, two different lures that were $2.99. That means you can get one more lure totaling $4. is as, as high as you can go. So I'm gonna cut you loose. Anything you want in this store that's fishing related for $4. Is anything? Anything that's fishing, fishing lure related, correct. No, like hot dogs. Although hot dogs probably would catch fish, but. I gotta go to this one. Okay, well you've got $3.99 left, so how much is how much are those? $3.29, okay, so let's take a look. What are these, gonna be Storm Wild Eye Swim Shads. Very nice, I love that color. All right, so we have our three choices. Hold those up for us real quick. Put that slushy down for just a second. So we have the Crazy Orange Spinner Bait by Wahoo. We have the Storm Swim Shad Little Swim Baits, and we have the Zoom Margarita Fat Alberts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so are these your three to three choices? Perfect, you came in just under budget. All right guys, Pierce has made his decision. He got all three lures. We barely stay under the $10 mark. Now it is up to me to go out and catch three bass using all three lures. Can I do it? I don't know. He actually picked three lures I've never used before. Let's get out there and see if we can do it. All right, I'm all rigged up. Got all my lures ready to go. About to launch my kayak, see if we can complete part two of this epic challenge. And let me tell you something, Pierce did a number on me this time, okay? And you know what, in all fairness to him, that budget really, really made it difficult for both of us. So he did a pretty good job considering. 
All right, let's start with the old spinner bait, guys. And as you can see, I have not added a trailer or a trailer hook on this thing. And that's because when I do these challenges, I really like to stay true to the challenge. I use the lures that people choose and I use them right out of the package. Or I try not to do those things, unless I'm just really struggling. But uh, yeah, so that's gonna be the plan. All right, well, no love on the spinner bait first thing that's great I love how these challenges always make me seem like an idiot every single time I start with a lure that I think is gonna be the easiest and I almost never catch a fish on that first lure the first time I try it well let's go against conventional wisdom let's go to the one that I think is gonna be the hardest and that's this neon grub <laughs> that Pierce picked that I've got like kind of drop shot rigged on a bait casting setup so that's something that I don't normally do I don't really drop shot ever anyways, but on a bait casting rig, I don't even really know, you know, like, is that even a thing? Do people do that? The water's certainly dirty enough for it to work. I mean, I don't know in what situations people are using neon green grubs, but I assume dirty water would be a good situation to use it. Oh, that was a bite. Oh my God, I had one. Oh, God darn it. How in the heck did a drop shot hook not penetrate? How did that even, how did this even happen right here? <laughs> how in the world? Okay, so we got a bite on the grub. That's just shocking. <laughs> it's just all around shocking. But that's a good sign nonetheless. That's a bite. Yep, got him. Uh. Oh, come on, stay on there, buddy. That's not a bad fish. That's not a bad fish at all. That's actually a really good fish. Oh, don't come off, buddy. Wow, that's a good fish. Oh my God, that's a big fish, guys. Oh boy. Ooh. Very nice fish. Good. Look at this. Look at the size of this freaking thing. Oh my God. That's a big freaking fish. He is heavy. Oh my God. Look at this thing. Good God. Look at, look at how fat this thing is. Talk about a freaking slaunch. Hooked right in the bottom of the lip. It's barely hooked too. Holy smokes. Good God solid fish right there solid all right first fish of the challenge is a freaking nice one you ready to go big girl oh yeah she's ready <laughs> noise just to remind you guys what i caught that giant bass on was a drop shot with one of these things freaking margarita fat albert like a grub with a curly tail on it boom so not only did we just knock out what I believe was the hardest lure of the challenge, but we caught a nice bass too. All right, well, we're gonna switch on to the spinner bait now. I mean, it's, it's nice and windy. I wish it was a little bit more overcast, I will admit. Still no love for the spinner bait. I have never struggled this hard to catch a spinner bait fish in my life. So let's move on to the other bait, a little swim bait, a little, uh, Storm, I think is what it was called. Since I'm not catching any fish at the moment, let me take this opportunity to tell you guys, if you think one of these lures is like particularly cool, or if you like any of these baits I'm using in this video, you definitely want to stay tuned until the end. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Wink, wink. Oh my goodness, that felt like a fish. Dang it. That's a fish on the swim bait. Yes. Ha ha. <laughs> you little rascal. Look at that mouthful of swim bait. The little guy with some sharp teeth. Look at that little joker. Look at that little healthy joker. 
trying to get him a little bluegill meal. Thanks, buddy. I sure appreciate it. Woo, boys. We're starting to feel pretty good about ourselves. Got two baits down. And like I said at the beginning, I thought the spinner bait was going to be the easiest lure. Boy, was I wrong. But here we are. I mean, it's nice and it's starting to cloud up a little bit, you know. A little overcast, a little bit of wind. I mean, that is just spinnerbait conditions just all day why won't this spinnerbait catch a fish dang it there are bass literally busting right behind me and i cannot even get a bite with this spinnerbait oh man i had a fish gosh dang it that was definitely a freaking fish oh it was just boop, 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 boop. get off me horse fly oh there's a horse fly antagonizing me what is up with insects messing with me during these challenges last time i think it was a bee wasn't it <laughs> just harassing me now i got this ah this little horse fly. Well, that's great. How did I not catch that fish? Guys, my line was like running. Oh. All right, guys, just got off the water. Somehow I got stumped on the spinner bait one of my most confident lures that I own. I, I don't understand it, guys. We did have a couple bites on it, but it just didn't work out, so whatever. Big shout out to Pierce, though. Thanks, Pierce, for being involved in this video and picking the lures. He did a good job. He picked me three really good lures. It just didn't happen, and sometimes it just doesn't happen, guys. I think that's something you guys like about this channel is I show you the real stuff. I show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I'm gonna continue to do that because I think you guys really do enjoy that. If you're still watching this video, congratulations. Not only are you an OG Lojo Fishing Fam subscriber, but you're also gonna have the chance to win some stuff. So basically, every challenge video that I do like this from here on out, whether it involves lures, a rod, a reel, you know, a combo, something like that, I'm going to give that stuff away to you guys after the video. So basically, if I complete the challenge, I will give you all of the stuff that is in the video. So in this case, it'll be three lures. If I don't complete the challenge, like in this video, then I will send you the three lures or whatever else is involved in the video, and I'll send you something extra, something special that I pick out myself from my fishing man cave. So, I mean, I've got all kinds of stuff in there. I've got great lures, I've got line, I've got reels, rods. I'm just gonna send you something. I can't guarantee where it's gonna be, but I'm gonna send you something cool from my fishing man cave. Now, how do you enter this? Okay, this is not gonna be your regular YouTube giveaway. Okay, this is gonna be something very different, so pay very close attention. So guys, I just got a Twitter page from Lojo Fishing, and I've only got like 50 followers. I'm feeling pretty lonely every time I tweet on Twitter. So, if you want to enter this giveaway for the stuff in this video, plus the bonus item, since I didn't complete the challenge, all you have to do, okay, Super simple, guys. All you have to do is follow me on Twitter. That is it, because I will pick one random winner out of my Twitter followers. So all you have to do to enter is follow me on Twitter. I'm gonna put a link to my Twitter page right at the top of the descriptions. All you have to do is click that, click follow, and you're done, guys. That is how, that's how you enter this giveaway. Giveaway winner will be announced on Twitter, since all you guys are gonna be following me on Twitter. I'm just gonna put randomly, you know, giveaway winner, whatever. And then you just DM me, and we'll go from there. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know you did because you tell me constantly that you love these videos. But if you did, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Make sure the bell notification is turned on for this very fast, rapidly growing channel. You want to stay up to date. And comment your suggestion, guys. You know the deal. I get all these suggestions from you guys. So continue to do that. I'm out of here, guys. On to the next fishing adventure. Fist bump. I'm out.